We are back. You're watching CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Thank you for being with me. Atlanta is left scrambling to keep their streets safe as a majority of police officers in two different zones did not show up to work today. Why? This is more fallout from the police killing of Rayshard Brooks, and it comes after a number of officers didn't show up for work earlier this week as well, protesting the felony murder charge against that fired officer, Garrett Rolfe, who shot and killed Brooks in that Wendy's parking lot last weekend. Today was his first court hearing, but Rolfe waived his right to that appearance, so neither he nor his attorneys appeared before a judge today. So let's go to Atlanta, to Ryan Young, who's been there really from the beginning covering all of this. And so talk to me just briefly about waiving his you know, right to the hearing and then also these officers just not showing up? Absolutely, a lot to break down here. And when you think about this, Brooke, you think about the officer waving. We sort of knew that yesterday. In fact, some of my sources told me that they believed he would wave. The reason why is the way this indictment works. The indictment hasn't gone through because there isn't a grand jury, maybe even until January. So you think about this, that officer has no chance of even receiving a bond into that point. He's going to have to sit in jail. That's why a lot of officers were also upset because they believed at least let the grand jury come back and then present the indictment. That would give him a chance for some bond, but that did not happen today. So moving forward from here, you have officers from across the city who are really showing their displeasure with what's happened over the last month. If you think about it, four officers were fired for how they treated some college students. Then you had these two officers, one fired and one put on desk duty. They're really asking the question about how they should move forward as a police force, because what they say is the standard operating procedure was in place and they believe that was a justified shoot. So they don't understand how these new rules are being put into place. But when you talk about the critical needs of a city of this size, you're talking about the city of Atlanta, where there's always a demonstration or always a major event. What people are concerned about is how they're having to use their forces all around the city. To give you an idea, two different zones had basically no shows today. And I'm being told that specialized units are being asked to go down and help answer 911 calls. The major crimes units, which goes after homicide suspects and does major crime investigations, they've been told to get in uniforms and get out on the street and answer 911 calls. We're told sergeants and lieutenants are doing the same thing. Now, of course, there are people at home who say, all right, what's the big deal? Well, if you have critical shortages in certain areas, if you have a call out of a big nature, you could understand how the surges of lack of staff could get other people hurt. Brooke? Oh, it's the domino effect, right? Um, we'll see how long this lasts and, and what the city will do about it. Ryan, thank you in Atlanta.